Hello again. Um, so I hope you enjoyed the performance of the Ninth Symphony, um, which I played in an earlier video. And what we're going to do now is talk about how we can approach it and get it to sound the way we want it for an exam or for a performance. So quite a lot of this piece is pretty much the same. It goes up and down in a wave. It's actually just like playing an easy scale, not even a whole scale. Um, so the first thing you'll notice is the dynamics in bar one and two. If you have a look at that, you can see the hairpins going up and down. And you'll notice that you've also got the hairpins with more or less the same notes in bar five and six. And then if you jump down to the bottom line, you'll notice that in bar 13 and 14, same notes, same dynamic changes, up and down with the hairpins. So once you've practiced one of those, it's quite easy to get all three of them right in the piece. So let's hear that first. So I'm just going to play bars one and two for you. Okay, so I didn't really try to play extremely loud. All I tried to do there was add a little bit more air. I started with a nice big breath and I pushed a little bit more with my tummy and pushed out the air. So you can do that as we got, we're going along. If you look at bar nine, which is halfway through the middle line, you can see there's a double bar there, and also P for piano, which means we have to play a little softer. So you don't want to be getting too quiet in bar six with the diminuendo, um, because you do need to get quieter again at bar nine. Nice and gentle, this is bar nine. <laughs> So where I finish there, that was the first bar of the very last line, bar 12, and you'll notice I play, played a really low G, which is on your music, and above it you can see in brackets there's a G in the stave, an octave higher. So you don't have to worry about that. Practice the low note, and if you find that too difficult, play the upper note. The choice is yours. Okay, what we do have to do in bar 12 is make that G quite short because it's one of the places we could breathe. C, D, G. And really taking a big breath, which means cutting it to about half its length, that G. Alternatively, the two E's that are tied together after it, that look like a smiley face, you could take a breath after that. So here's the first way of playing it. So I took the breath immediately after the G. What you could do is breathe after the, the E that's tied and it would sound a little different. So I would practice it those two ways and one of them you will find is much easier for you than the other. Um, and I don't think you need to worry about which one you should be playing. You choose because music is about enjoyment. So, I'm going to play the first four bars for you now, the first phrase. If it goes well, I'll play the second phrase, and you'll notice that the second phrase from bar five is more or less, in fact, it is exactly the same as the first four bars, with the exception of the last two notes. <laughs> of the piece and you'll notice that it sounded really quite well finished off by the time we got to that last note. Then we go into that new section, the piano section where we have to play gentler, still push you lots of air through the instrument but just control it and you'll find that you're easy to, it's easy to play those notes. I will carry on to the end this time, see if you can pick out where I decide to breathe at bar 12 and 13. So I'm starting at bar 9. Now, <clears throat> I 
I decided to breathe where the comma is on the music um, because that is what I'm used to. So don't be afraid to try it like that. It's very difficult to play the low note and then back up to an E. Perhaps a little practice. Um, if we do the interval practices that we're used to, that should get us to there. So you can practice those few notes in bar 12 together, like this. Take out that little section and you can practice going from the G to the E. Tongue dance slurred, make sure you do both exercises so that it becomes very easy for you. That's quite an easy piece for grade one. The more work you do with it, the easier you will find it. Um, don't worry about it at all, and it is a lovely piece. Just think of it as lots of wavy scales as you're going along, and then add the dynamics. Think about where you're going to breathe. I personally put a nice great big V where I want to breathe, and then as you're reading the music, you can see it, and it's very, very easy. Thank you very much. I hope you enjoy that piece. Bye.